What was the difference tonight? The fast start had to help, I would imagine. Fast start, uh, just our compete level. You know, guys were battling there like crazy, uh, especially dropping down to four defensemen, just seeing how they battled there. Uh, I think that set us up that today. As a goaltender, Jonas, you can feel that right away, right in the first period when the guys in front of you are skating like they were tonight. 100. percent You see, you see, they put 110 percent out there, and you know, you know what, you want to do the same. So, uh, uh, yeah, just a great game by the guys. How did you feel your first start back home here since March, I believe? How did you feel tonight? I feel great. Uh, I think I felt good in the last game too, uh, letting five goals. But you know, uh, that was a good game to get under, and uh, yeah, felt pretty good. Does it feel like it's getting better exponentially with each game out for you? Yeah, 100 percent. This was only my third game, so it's going to assume getting better and, you know, a little bit more comfortable. And you're down to 4D. Uh, talk about how you all had to pull together maybe a little bit tonight to make things happen a little bit uh, and, and make it be a successful night for you. 100 percent. I, I, you know, you see the 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 forwards help the D a lot there. Uh, uh, I try to, you know, help the guys with the uh, rings, whatever. So, um, you know, four guys. Going every second, it's hard. So uh, uh, everyone pulled together here today. How cool is it to see Blankenberg step up and protect you after the first little bump there by the Flyers in the first period? That was awesome. I mean, he's probably the smallest guy out there, but he, he's got the biggest heart. So uh, he doesn't he doesn't back up, and I love to see that. Yeah, and just to have a lead tonight. I know you haven't been in for a lot of these games, but you guys haven't had the lead in a very long time. How comforting was that to have a one goal, two goal, then a three goal lead to play with? Yeah, I guess it's easier to play when you're leading uh, than than uh, trailing. So, uh, uh, you know, maybe maybe uh, ease our game a little bit there. But you know, the game doesn't change anyways. Yeah, uh, big win for us. Like uh, like you said, came out had a good start, um, and uh, they kind of pushed back there towards the end of the second into the third. But uh, we stuck with it. And, only had 4D out there, so uh, it was a good team effort. It had been a while since you guys have had a lead. Just how comforting was that to play with the lead instead of tra chasing it all the time? Yeah, it's nice. I mean, you know, other teams trying to take chances, and, and uh, you know, you defend well and play the right way. When you're up goals, it's easier to get, you know, odd man rushes and looks. So uh, I thought we did a good job. How about your line tonight? You were broken up in the last game to have a sort of a response game like this tonight. How good is that? Yeah, it was big. It was big for us. Uh, uh, you know, we didn't play our best there that last game uh, in Finland. Um, I think we were off minus three, minus four, and uh, had tough games. And uh, it was great to see uh, the way uh, we responded. Johnny, when you talk about the four defensemen, of course, there's a lot on those defensemen themselves, but as forwards, how much more did you guys try to do in helping that full team defensive effort to take a little load off those guys? Yeah, I mean, you you got to help them as much as you can. Uh, just getting, it's just so much more important getting those pucks out in, in the D zone and you know, not not turning the puck over late in the game there because they've been playing the past you know two periods of just four D. So I thought our forwards did a good job there, and I thought our D did an excellent job back there. Consistency tonight was there as well. You've had good periods, good stretches, but tonight you were able to put it all together. That was an important yeah. part of it tonight as well. Yeah, uh, like you said, I mean, obviously they gave. A uh, push back there. Uh, they were down a few goals, but we stuck with it. And third, we had some good looks too uh, towards the end of it. But uh, um, you know, ultimately, I thought we did a great job, you know, protecting the lead and, and being smart with the puck. And uh, you know, it was a big win for us. I mean, all of your goals coming at home. What makes Nationwide Arena so special for you coming in this year to score all your goals here? Yeah, I don't know. I must like <laughs> playing here. Um, like playing in front of these fans. Uh, it's been uh, it's been a lot of fun playing in front of them. Uh, and enjoying my time here so far so hopefully I can keep uh, keep scoring here for them. So let's start with the defensive effort when you're down to four and, and what it took for, for you guys to pull this thing out. Yeah well I thought Corpy played unreal tonight and uh, he made some pretty big saves at some pretty big time so that's big and then um, obviously just from the D standpoint we just tell each other just keep it simple and uh, short shifts and then the forwards did a great job too and uh, just helping us out, getting pucks deep at the red and, and limiting turnover, so that was big. And you guys found a, a consistent effort tonight. There have been spurts in the past, but tonight you found a consistent effort. How difficult was that, given the, the fact that you were playing shorthanded? Yeah, obviously when you have 4D, it's it's a little bit harder with uh, with the lungs and the legs and everything. But like I said, I think um, under the circumstances, I think the guys did a really good job and just kind of coming together and 
um, I think that's important for us is, is to, no matter what happened, just continue to play the game and, and, and play it the right way. And, and I thought from the start to the finish, we did that tonight. And given that, Nick, uh, what can a win like this do for a team that's been fighting some adversity to win with some adversity tonight? Yeah, it's, uh, obviously it's big for us, but uh, we know we continue to have more and uh, there's more work to do. So tonight was just a stepping stone for us. and. Um, enjoy it tonight and, and get back to work tomorrow. Have you had as physical a game as you had tonight in the NHL? Uh, I don't know. Maybe for, on the receiving end, probably tonight was <laughs> was the most. But uh, but yeah, so it'll be it'll be fine. Hop in the ice bath, I'll be good. Nick, I know you've been. Uh, uh, Matthew Olivier said that early in the year you're bugging him to help you learn how to fight a little bit. Uh, did you get to put some of those skills? Anything he taught you? Were you using that tonight? Honestly, not really. Like I mean, like you kind of black out when you're when you're in a moment like that and. Um, it was just so quick that you, 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 you honestly you can't really think. So uh, I guess a little bit. I'll give, I'll give Oli some credit. I grabbed both his arms. So I learned that from him too. So obviously uh, really big to uh, Oli stepping up tonight and fight, fighting. Uh, I can't remember his name, but he looks like a pretty tough guy. So a lot of, a lot of credit to Oli. Yeah. yeah. Did you guys talk specifically about protecting Corpus Allo if there's traffic there? So you had a response there in the first. Yeah, I think just uh, that's what we got to be better at that uh, defense, keeping guys out of the middle and, and blocking shots and um, just keeping guys away from second and third chances. So I thought, uh, one, I thought Corpy was unreal tonight, and I thought uh, Nadi did a uh, good job tonight, too. Did Rocky ever score a longer ball? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> did you have time to kind of line that up? And yeah, like, uh, I mean, again, like great face off win by Gonser, and um, I mean, everyone did their job on that play, box outs, and uh, there was room to shoot it, so luckily, luckily it went in. Did you actually see it go in, or did you have to? Wait no, to I didn't see. I didn't see it because there was so many guys in front of me, and I was just standing. I was so tired. I was like, "Please, just go in." <laughs> it was either going to be an icing or it was in the net. So either way, it was going to be a whistle. Yeah. So I'm just happy it went in. Did they tell you, you to do that? Um, uh, you had the opportunity to shoot. Long yeah, long foods. Long. Foods uh, said, "Hey, no matter what, I'm going, and I'll try and beat the icing." So uh, we kind of had that that play set in mind where we go up the strong side wall, and um, so yeah, so it was a good good play. You guys are sitting in here, second intermission. You know, it's going to be just four of you out there defensively. And that, do you talk strategies or just keep it simple? Or just, we're just going to go out there and gut it out? And just do, do just keep, it, keep it simple and, and do what you have to do to win, whether if that's blocking a shot or, or just making a simple play and chipping the puck out. So, um, so yeah, it was a big, uh, big win tonight for the, t for the guys. Brad, first of all, what kind of, uh, what kind of praise do you have for your 4D who gutted that out for most of that game tonight? Yeah, it's a tough game. I mean, we lose pretty key guy there early in Z, and then um, you know, and then Goody goes down. So more than half a game, we're down to four D. Ollie took some shifts at D. Apparently, he played D somewhere in mid. I don't know when he last played D, but he said he played it. So he took a few there. That's just where we're at. That's what you had to do. How about the quick start tonight? That that seemed to be integral to to where you were going tonight. Yeah, it's it's a whole lot better to play with the lead, right? I mean, you you're at home, you get the crowd into it. You know, it was. You know, you're hoping you're going to have some energy tonight. It's hit or miss with the jet lag. You just never know what, what, what we're going to feel like. But to energize yourself, a few goals kind of got the crowd in. I think that helped us. Right, this, did you guys flip a switch tonight? How did it all seem to, to come together when you were struggling with so many facets of your game? And it seemed like yeah. a lot of things just Yeah, I don't know if you flipped a switch. I think we had some energy. You know, you scored early. You start feeling good about your game. I think that you're not chasing it, you know, and, and – uh, I thought I thought the guys battled hard. You know, guys were going down, and they kept battling hard. I thought Corpy was outstanding in net, made some big saves when we needed it. It was a, it was a great team effort. How much have you talked about sticking up for your goalie more, maybe protecting the crease? And did you see Blankenberg's response as a positive sign early for you tonight? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's he's a little pit bull, right? Well, maybe a Chihuahua. I don't know what he's, but you know, he just he just that's what he is. He you know they they want to. They want to protect that goal, that goalie of ours, and um, you know he's he'll lead the charge. He's not afraid to get his nose dirty there. You split up the top line at the end of the game in Finland. They're back together tonight. Produced a lot of points. What did you like about how they played tonight? Yeah, there, there's still some things tonight. You know, it's uh, but they produce for us. You know, we we met as a group, the three of us, and and you know they're important to our team. They are, and and they know they had a better game, and that second game especially, and. It was it wasn't good enough. Uh, they weren't alone, but they're key guys for us, obviously. So I thought they they stepped up. They got us on the board. They got us rolling offensively. That was huge. Brad, do you have any issue with the no penalty on the Gabranson hit? Uh, no, no, he was going down, and I actually think Delorey let up. If 
if he would have kept following through, I think it could have been a whole lot worse. I, I think it was the right call. I don't think, uh, and that's why they put that rule in place, right? They, they can take the five and look at it. Um, you look at the replay, he kind of lost his balance. And I really do believe Laurie, Lori, if he's going in full tilt, and I think it could have been much worse. And Olivier tonight stepping up, you know, kind of a big fight, really yep. stepping into place there for you. He said two pretty big ones. And the, the guy he fought in Colorado, that's, that's men only. And, and he's not a guy who's just holding on. He's, it, it, those, you have no idea what it does for your bench and, and you know, a, a willingness. And he's, that's one of the hardest jobs in hockey. I'll tell you right now, I've been around the game a long time. You talk to the guys that do it, that's, that's a really, really tough job. And he, and, he, and he energized our bench. Again, you know, having the lead, he's willing to do it. He does it at the right time. Um, tremendous uh, effort by him, and, and, and he played a really good hockey game. He played defense tonight. He played forward. His line was really good for me tonight, you know, so I love that he's, he, you know, he, that's just part of his game, but he, he's, he's a good hockey player. He can play. What was that conversation like about when you found out he had played D? Was that during an intermission or was that on? Someone on? told me. I said, really? You played D before? And he said, yeah. I said, okay, be ready. No one else was stepping up, so he was... Had a right shot D there, ready to go. Is that intermission talk or bench talk? That was intermission, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you have an indication, without getting into specifics, if Wierenski or Goodbranson, if either of those are long-term? Yeah, it's not good for Z. It's not going to be good at all. Um, Goody, I, I don't think it'll be as uh, as long. We'll, that'll be a more of a day-to-day, -day and we'll, we'll monitor it, but Z, it's, it's not good.